What's up guys? We are back with Tuesday College Basketball Action here on November 5th. We have a short slate today, so we're going to be breaking down every single game and give you our best lean on the side and the over-under. Keep in mind, these are just our first looks, and what ends up as a premium pick or even in the pinned comment at this extremely early stage of the season is subject to change basically up until tip-off, so make sure you are checking that pinned comment. Monday night went pretty okay, guys. We hit our two biggest bets of the night. That was Tampa Bay plus nine and Kareem Hunt there over 16 and a half rushing attempts. So cashed both of those, no problem there. But Baker Mayfield did not throw an interception for us. The Cavaliers pick, they played terrible. Very weird game there. They ended up not covering that seven and a half. We did have the Warriors at minus nine and a half. That was a nice win as Golden State continues to play really well. But the Knicks-Houston game ended up being an underspot instead of an overspot. So technically a three and three day out there, but a slight winning one for us. If you want to win all of your Tuesday bets, guys, hit that like button. It's good luck and really helps the video get promoted out there and hell guys it just feels good to see that little number on the screen go up by one obviously i would love if you would subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and if you're a really big supporter you can sign up for a channel membership to get early access to all of my nfl and college football videos and get your name up on screen in every video just like right now i really appreciate everyone watching this video and big shout out to the channel members all of our videos are sponsored by StumpTheSpread.com. Click the link in the description to go over there and check out our whole team of professional cappers who are putting in the work every single day, covering all the major sports with the NFL, college football, NCAA basketball, NBA, UFC, and NHL all going on right now. It is a great time to sign up for maximum bang for your buck. You can also sign up for our free email list to get daily, free, and sometimes premium pick straight to your inbox. Let me know in the comments any bets you're looking at today, and I will give you my best advice on all of them. I personally respond to every single comment every day and I'm more than happy to get back to you. As always, our favorite picks will be in the pinned comment down below. Now let's get into our first game of the day. We have the FIU Panthers taking on the Rice Owls. Florida International guys, they come into the season projected to be around 10th in the Conference USA and they're ranked about 282nd nationally in the preseason polls. Last season, the Panthers depended pretty heavily on generating turnovers, but when that didn't happen, guys, they struggled a lot. Coming up with a 11 and 22 record a season ago was not really living up to expectations, and it feels like they didn't have the size to hang with a lot of their competition. Every team at this level is going to lose guys to the transfer portal, and the Panthers were no exception this season. Their first opponent of the year is going to be the Rice Owls. They're projected around 13th in the AAC and 205th nationally in you know some of those preseason polls out there. Rice didn't really live up to expectations a season ago. They went 11 of 21 and that led to a coaching change and the arrival of Rob Lanier. Bring in Kellen Amos from Central Connecticut State among other solid transfers has things looking to be pointed in the right direction for a team with a lot to prove here in the early goings. Looking at the numbers for this game guys we see Rice they're minus five and a half in this one. We've got an over under out there of 147 and a half. I'm not super interested in the over under in this one guys I would maybe lean just a slight bit towards that under but I do think this is a good spot to look at taking the rice owls here at minus five and a half should be a decent spot for them they've got more talent on the roster this game being in Texas I don't think favors Florida too much at all so go ahead and be rice in this one as a small lean next on the docket guys we're looking at the Evansville purple aces they're going on the road to take on the North Texas mean green Evansville guys they're projected somewhere around 10th in the Missouri Valley and somewhere around 218th nationally in those preseason polls. What will the Purple Aces be able to do here in their third year under David Ragland? Well, a 17 and 18 record a season ago is a good sign, but half the roster is new here to start the season. Once again, guys, a team hit hard by the transfer portal. Six newcomers are going to be relied on to make a big difference here, and there is a real feeling that this thing could go pretty hard one way or the other. This team could have a great year. This team could have a terrible year. Connor Turnbull, a junior that comes over from Butler, could be a big difference maker out there for the Aces, so we'll have to see how the season goes for them. I think there's reason for optimism, but there's also plenty of reason for concern. The Aces start off their season here going on the road to take on North Texas. The mean green coming into this year projected somewhere around sixth in the AAC and close to a top 100 team nationally in those preseason polls. As a new arrival here to the American Athletic Conference, lots can be changing here for the Mean Green who made it to the NIT last year, but UNT doesn't bring back much production from last season, but with a big transfer class coming in, expectations are at least semi-high here for Ross Hodge and his program here in the 24-2025 season. Looking at the numbers for this game, guys, we see North Texas, they are 12 and a half point favorites. We've got a pretty low over under here of only one 
35 and a half. But guys, I think this is an under spot if you're looking to play an over under here. But I don't have that much faith here in Evansville right off the bat. I think they might be fine in the Missouri Valley. I think they're a team that could end up playing some decent defense. But I like North Texas here to kind of pick up where they left off last year. I know, guys, it's not exactly, you know, the same team as a year ago. But yeah, North Texas should have quite a bit more talent. They're going to be able to score a lot better than Evansville will, in my opinion. So definitely give me the North Texas mean green here at minus 12 and a half. And definitely getting to play this game at home, it makes a big difference, especially in the early part of the season. Hey guys, jumping in here with a quick ad break. This is a great time to sign up at stumpthespread.com. Signing up for a premium membership gets you access to our entire team of cappers covering NFL, college football, NBA, NHL, UFC, and NCAA basketball, which is just starting up and has been one of our most profitable sports over the years. We make things extremely easy for you with pick notifications directly to your phone and unit sizes assigned to each play so you can see where our confidence level is on every individual matchup. To test out the service before you buy, join our free email list to get the occasional free or premium pick straight to your inbox. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. And also, if you want to experience peer-to-peer -peer sports betting while paying almost zero juice, click the link in the description to sign up at betopenly.com. Now, guys, back to the games. Next on the docket, guys, we're looking at the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. They're going on the road here to take on the Texas Tech Red Raiders. BC, you guys, they're projected somewhere around eighth in the SWAC, and they are way down there in the national rankings, guys, somewhere in the 340s. So, yeah, not a whole lot of hype around this team, guys. The Wildcats did kind of play postseason basketball last year, but they got bounced in the first game of the CBI by Arkansas State. Uh, you know, Theus in his fourth year leading this program, he gets back only one starter for this year. And yeah, they're going to be basically embarking on another rebuild for a program that just really can't seem to find any traction out there. And it's not going to get super easy for them here in their season opener as they go on the road to take on Texas Tech. Yeah, guys, the Red Raiders, they're projected somewhere around sixth in the Big 12 and possibly could end up inside the top 25 nationally. That is not a stretch for this team at all. Grant McCasland has a great squad behind him, bringing in a top point guard in Elijah Hawkins and a very interesting big man in JT Toppin. Bringing back Chance McKillen and Darian Williams is also a big positive. Some experts have them being in the bottom half of the Big 12, but I think there is a very good chance that this team could be party crashers out there and, you know, obviously one of the most competitive, you know, power conferences out there in college basketball. So looking at the numbers for this game, guys, it is no big shocker to see Texas Tech here as massive favorite. They are minus 29 out there. We've got an over-under of 143 and a half. Not interested in the over-under in this one, guys. I would maybe even side a bit towards the under since I think the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats are going to have a really bad time out there. Give me Texas Tech to get a blowout win and cover in this game. They've got plenty to prove here. They've got plenty of guys, you know, coming back. Dudes looking to establish their spots in the rotations and things like that. So they're going to be trying hard. This is going to be a maximum effort game. I think they get an absolute blowout in this one. Moving right along here, guys, we've got the New Orleans Privateers. They're going on the road to take on the Kansas State Wildcats. New Orleans, guys, they're projected somewhere around 8th in the Southland and around 200 or 320-something there nationally. Last year was not a ton of fun for the Privateers, who were only 10 and 23 overall and didn't have a good time there in the Southland. This team lost a couple of important seniors to graduation, and we'll have to see where they try and make up that production. But right now, guys, things are looking like pretty slim pickings out there for New Orleans, so probably not. Not a great season incoming here for the privateers but we'll see what they can do here opening up their season against a power conference opponent in the kansas state wildcats who are projected somewhere around eighth in the big trail 12 and around 28th nationally the wildcats have high expectations after making huge investments in their roster by bringing in illinois transfer coleman hawkins and Michigan transfer point guard Doug McDaniel. With a price tag of around $2 million for these transfers, guys, changes and improvements are the expectation here for the Wildcats. Will that actually happen? Things are pretty rough there in the Big 12, guys. You are going to have to be legitimately very, very good. But with the talent they just brought in, I think we can easily expect Kansas State to get off to a flying start to their season. And yeah, a cupcake matchup here against New Orleans has the Kansas State Wildcats at minus 27 and a half. And guys, I don't think that's enough. I think this should they should be more around a minus 32 or something like that. So definitely give me Kansas State in this one. I think they earn a comfortable blowout win here. In terms of that over-under of 147 and a half, 
not an over under spot that I'm super duper interested in. I would maybe shade it just a hair here towards the over since I think Kansas State's going to run up a ton of points. But yeah, not an over under spot. This is a spot to jump on the Kansas State Wildcats. Jumping in with our first ever sports book ad guys, and I am super excited to tell you about Bet Openly. They are unlike any regular sports book out there. Their whole goal is to facilitate peer to peer betting. So instead of them having a vested interest in you winning or losing your bet, they just want to match you up with a real person who wants the opposite side. At Bet Openly, you will be paying drastically reduced juice on your bets, close to 1% instead of the 10% you would pay at any of the big guys. Not having to fight that built in house edge sounds pretty great to me. Bet Openly supports all your favorite bets, including props and parlays. And get this, guys, you can even be the house on parlays, meaning you only need a single leg to win to cash your bet. Most importantly, Bet Openly will never limit your account for being a consistent winner, which is something that happens all the time on the bigger sites. If you're interested in signing up, click the referral link in the description of this video and let's cash some bets. Now guys, back to the games. Next up, guys, we got the Idaho State Bengals. They're going on the road to take on the Arizona State Sun Devils. Uh, yeah, Idaho State, guys, they're projected somewhere around 8th in the Big Sky and around the 300s there nationally. Under sixth year head coach Ryan Looney, he's going to have his hands full if he wants this team to make any noise, but they do have some solid returning players in Braden Parker, who did put up 12 points and six assists last season, and Isaiah Wright, who's a good assist guy last year. Bringing in Tyler Green from junior college will at least give them some physicality, but losing the defense and scoring here of Chris Hansen and losing James Miller to the portal, that's going to be pretty hard to overcome for a team that didn't really have, you know, that great of a time bringing in talent through the transfer portal. I mean, it's just Idaho State, guys. They don't have a ton of appeal to, you know, any you know, super, super talented guys, and they likely don't have very much money to spend. They're getting quite the test here out of the gate, taking on Arizona State, who they come into the season. It's going to be their first season in the Big 12, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do against a new slate of opponents with Bobby Hurley now in his 10th season at the helm. Arizona State came up with the ninth best recruiting class in the nation and have three top 100 guys on the roster now. The Sun Devils brought in some premium talent at a premium price, and the hope here for ASU is that they can hit the ground running. And with all that talent guys I think that is extremely extremely likely looking at the numbers for this game Arizona State minus 19 and a half out there we got an over under of 139 and a half so a pretty low over under I'm definitely going to be shading a bit towards the over on this game but I really think the value here once again is to just ride with that big favorite I think Arizona State being significantly undervalued here they should win this game easily by 25 or 30 points I don't think there's any you know reason to think they're going to struggle out of the gate against a team like Idaho State who really has very few expectations and very like little to be you know playing for I mean not to be playing for but just not a great spot here for Idaho State as they start their season against a team that's going to have infinitely more talent so yeah definitely giving the Sun Devils in this game moving right along here guys we are looking at the Central Arkansas Bears they're going on the road to start their season by taking on the BYU Cougars Central Arkansas guys bring in John Shulman at the at head coach to help rebuild this program might be good in the long run but will this be a fast or slow rebuilding process well, guys, losing Tucker Anderson, who put up 14 and a half points per game last season, is not going to help things. And it's pretty questionable whether or not they have the offensive or defensive chops to make this, you know, first game of the season even slightly respectable. Don't have a ton of positive things here to say about Arkansas, Central Arkansas, guys. This may be the last time you hear me mention this team this season. But yeah, just not really thinking they're going to have a great time here as they start their season against the BYU Cougars, who, yeah, kind of a new era here for the Cougars as we saw Mark Pope lead town to take leave town to take over there at Kentucky and now we've got Kevin Young at the helm. BYU did bring back a lot of guys from a very successful campaign last year and they were very active in the transfer portal as well adding in some depth. Despite the coaching change this squad is going to make some noise in the Big 12 and they are yeah I mean not a team anyone that is going to want to face there once NCAA tournament time comes around. So looking at the numbers for this one guys it's a big number BYU minus 29 and a half. We got an over under of 148 and a half. Once again, guys, I know I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I think you want to be on BYU. Minus 29 and a half, that's a lot of points. And this probably isn't one of my favorite games out there, but I certainly think BYU, with all the talent they have, all the scoring they have, and their ability to shoot the three, they are more than capable of putting up a blowout win here, playing at home against a team as mediocre as Central Arkansas. Next up, guys, we've got the Cal Poly Mustangs. They're going on the road to take on the San Francisco Dons. Cal Poly, under new 
new head coach, Mike George, will be trying to make this squad relevant out there in the Big West. Bring in Luca Tarlac from Utah should help things a bit as they need anything they can get after closing last season, guys, on a 20-game losing streak. Yeah, you heard that right. The Cal Poly Mustangs lost 20 straight to end their season last year. So anything would be an improvement for them at this point, but a lot of moving pieces there on this very, you know, new roster. Uh, this is definitely not a premium team out there, not projected to finish very well this season. So we'll see what they can do out there in the Big West, and we'll see what they can do here in their first game of the season. Not going to be a very easy task, guys. They're going on the road to take on the San Francisco Dons, who finished up last season 23-11 and and made it into the NIT before being knocked out there by by Cincinnati. This is a squad with aspirations in the WCC. They want to be right there in the mix with teams like Gonzaga and St. Mary's. Marcus Williams is coming off of a big season, 14 points a game, nearly four assists, and this fifth-year guard is going to be asked to take another step forward. The Dons return two of their top three scores this season, and that should have them in great shape here to hit the ground running. And looking at the numbers for this game, guys, San Francisco minus 20 and a half. We've got an over-under out there of 146 and a half. I think you might want to take a look at the over over 146 and a half could make some sense to me for sure in this game but i think the value here is definitely to take san francisco to get the win and cover here playing at home i think they should be more like minus 23 to 25 somewhere in that range and honestly guys i could see this game getting very out of hand very quick the dons love the three ball they are going to be jacking them up here uh, you know right out of the gate and they could run up quite the score here playing at home against you know a team that is not really up to this talent level and is not going to be able to keep up with them in terms of scoring so yeah definitely like the Dons in this spot quite a bit. Last but not least here on this very short Tuesday college basketball slate, guys, we've got UC Davis Aggies. They're going on the road to take on the Washington Huskies. UC Davis, guys, they come into this game, you know, into the season off of a 20-win year. They have to be feeling great about their chances in the Big West as they return a ton of key players from their squad that went 14-6 and six in conference play a season ago. T.Y. Johnson put up 18 points and 3.3 assists per game last season and ended up staying despite test out the transfer portal and in general this team just has tons of production coming back from a year ago in my eyes this is definitely a squad that could compete there for a big west title and that puts them in pretty good shape here even at the beginning of the season i think and it's not like they've got an easy opponent they're going to be taking on the washington huskies who yeah guys danny sprinkle is now at the helm for washington and was one of the hottest young coaches in the game coming off leading utah state there to a first round ncaa tournament win over tcu this team has been built through the transfer portal no major shocker there guys and reported this is the eighth best transfer class out there in the nation. So pretty impressive stuff there. This team has a lot of talent, bringing over great Osibor from Utah State with him is a very big deal there for Danny Sprinkle. And this team is definitely ready to compete, if not thrive in the Big Ten this season. Looking at the numbers for this game, guys, uh, Washington is minus 13 and a half here. They are playing at home in this game. So that's something to take into consideration. We've got an over under of 144 and a half. I definitely think you want to be leaning towards the over in this game, but I also think there's plenty of reason here to back the UC Davis Aggies. I think they can keep this game competitive against a Washington team that is not used to playing with each other. I know that, you know, Washington has way more talent on the roster. I'm not trying to deny that, but I do think this is a spot where UC Davis can get out to a hot start and keep things very competitive, even down the stretch here against the Washington Huskies, despite the fact the Huskies are playing this game at home. That's all the games we have for today, guys. Hit that like button for good luck on all of your bets and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to check back on that pinned comment multiple times throughout the day as many things can change here in the early goings in the NCAA basketball season. Let me know in the comments any questions you have on today's slate. Thanks for watching. You can click the link in the description to check out stumpthespread.com and we'll see you guys tomorrow for more sports betting action.